Welcome to Downpour.com's interview series. I'm Malcolm Hillgartner, and today it's my pleasure to be speaking with Jeff Vandermeer. Blackstone Audio published the audio version of Vandermeer's latest novel, Annihilation, narrated by Carolyn McCormick, simultaneously with the hardcover book on February 4th, 2014. So welcome, Jeff. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And congratulations on the release of your newest novel, Annihilation, which I understand you're currently on a book tour to promote. So what's the response been like so far? Uh, it's been astounding, actually. Um, there was just a, a great review uh, in Salon.com and the Mommy Herald, and the West Coast book tour went really, really well. We had large crowds and a lot of enthusiasm, and I'm just really enjoying it so far. Now, Annihilation is the first book in the Southern Reach trilogy. What prompted you to write the story? For a long time, I've wanted to write about kind of a transformed North Florida, the wilderness here. I've been hiking this one trail here in North Florida for uh, about 15 or 20 years now, and suddenly, a couple of years ago, I finally got uh, this idea in my head about this expedition to what looks like a pristine wilderness uh, that's actually very strange indeed. And then also had this idea for the secret agency that is tasked with sending expeditions into into Area X. The kind of catalyst for it was was actually a dream. And this often often happens, I think, with writers. And it can be a dream. It can be any any other form of inspiration. You put something in your conscious mind, like say, hey, I want to write about kind of a transformed Florida or, or whatever it is. And then out pops from your subconscious some kind of answer. And in this case, it was a dream. And the dream was about walking down into this subterranean tunnel and seeing these words on the wall written in like living letters and going farther and farther down until I realized that if I turned the corner, I was going to see whatever was writing these letters. And at that point, some part of my writer brain woke up in the dream and said, Jeff, if you, if you turn the corner and see what that thing is, you're probably not going to write this story. So I woke up, I wrote down the dream, I wrote down the words on the wall, which actually turned out to verbatim be put in the novel. And that's how it started. And so there was this creative process going on between consciously wanting to write about something and then my subconscious coming up with an answer about how to do it. Do you often turn to your dreams for that spark or is this a a one on a occasional thing that happens? It's an occasional thing. You have to be very careful of that. If you have something like that happen and then a story accretes around it and you start to see characters and you start to see character motivations and you start to see the full arc of the story, then you know that you've got something. Otherwise, you just have something that might or might not be interesting to tell your friend. (laughs) So in this case, this very compelling character, the biologist, this withdrawn woman who cares probably a little bit more about nature than about her fellow human beings, came into my mind, and the arc of the story, and then the arc of the other two books. And so I, I knew that I had something. Listen to the full interview at downpour.com.